someone that's thinking about you know owning a property like this what kind of return are they looking at on their investment it's a 12 passenger mercedes van that's here for the exclusive use of our owners we actually have a mosquito control system that really? goes on three times a day Hey Rick, good to see you again, you too, sir. Buddy, welcome. Good to see you. Come on in here. We got some exciting things that we've been up to since your last year. Sounds good. Come on in. What's the latest and the greatest here at River Landing? Oh sure, it's been an exciting time for us, uh, Andrew. We've got a lot of stuff going on, man, and uh, we're excited to share it with you and tell you a little bit about what we're up to here. I'm really excited to see what's going on. I know you've added some really cool amenities recently, but I'm seeing over here, it looks like you guys have been selling some coach lots. You know, we've been uh, been fortunate. We've sold out of phase one and we opened up phase two and we've already sold two in phase two uh, already. And uh, both of those are under construction right now. So we'll be looking forward to showing you that later. I've been to a lot of RV resorts and there's a lot of little things that you guys do here at River Landings that makes you the most elite RV resort in the country. What are, what are some of the stuff that you guys have been doing here? You know, when we planned our clubhouse here, we planned it for enjoyment, for people to come down and really enjoy the whole atmosphere. Uh, so our clubhouse really wraps around our pool area. Our pool area is saltwater pool. We heat it to 90 degrees. And then we have our uh, training center over here. And just this year, we're adding an infrared hot sauna that'll be in one of our enclosed rooms along with the massage area. Awesome. So, yeah. You wanna walk around and yeah, show us a little cool. bit? And I'm, I'm seeing some new additions. I know some of Dean's artwork is yeah. uh, on display here uh, from his turtle mode series. Now this is kind of cool. This is a, a, a new addition. Yeah. What's going on here? So I, on one of our travels, um, I got to talking to a gentleman and we got to talking about this stove. And this stove dates back into the late, he said 1800s, early 1900s. And so we made a deal and I bought it from him. I thought it'd be a showpiece. Nice. So, we brought it and uh, it's been sitting in here and we just tell stories about it. Let's cruise around a little bit more and I'm looking forward to showing the folks some of the lots that you do have for sale. Absolutely. But I uh, love seeing your clubhouse here. Now, uh, this is your, your fitness facility here? Yeah, so this is the fitness side of things here. And we, as you can tell, the way we set the fitness up was uh, especially later on when the fountains are going, you can be here with those fountains right down the lake yeah and uh, they'll be coming on here shortly we run about three times a day and then over here are showers laundry room and then this is going to be our infrared sauna room and our massage room which will be complete here within the next two weeks that's very exciting and yeah. i love all the little details this is a high-end motor coach resort and i i've never been to another motor coach resort that has one of those about 10 foot tall doors or they are. yeah we wanted height so that you had nice space in here so everything we do here is tall yes sir yes, and sir. um and, and it makes it feel homey one of the most exciting things that we've we've added is the river landings express yeah so tell us a little bit more about that today's world andrew we're concerned about transportation like a lot of people are with the different car services so at river landings we opted to purchase our own van it's a 12 passenger Mercedes van that's here for the exclusive use of our owners. We do airport runs. If they're coming in, we'll go grab them, pick them up. If they wanna go out to dinner, we'll put a staff. We have a full-time driver that is here that'll take them wherever they wanna go. Very cool. And so yes, we've implemented that and uh, we've already made our two airport runs already. <laughs> nice. And we have a trip to the Keys with it. We've got a, another trip planned. Uh, so basically, you know, when the people want to just say they want to go downtown to Fort Myers, you know, everybody says, well, I'll go with you and I'll go with you. We eliminate that. We can get 12 of you together. Very cool. And no one has to worry about driving after uh, having too much fun. We have so. a dedicated driver and uh, so nobody has to worry about that. Very cool. So. I uh, always love to see a black Mercedes Sprinter van. I'm a big fan of Sprinter vans myself, but let's go take a look around and uh, you want to show us some of the other stuff? Absolutely. 
One of the things that we've implemented here, of course, uh, is the need for storage because a lot of our owners come down, you know, for quite some time. And uh, we have finished and sold out building one, and we are now into building two, and it's sold out. A lot of our owners will leave, especially in these units, will leave their boats, an extra car, a motorcycle, uh, so that, you know, in the summertime, if they say, hey, let's run down to Florida, they got transportation here, it's inside, it's protected, it's air conditioned, and they own it. Yeah. And uh, so I want to show you one unit that we have over here. Um, all these units are on an average of 2,000 square feet. Okay. Uh, this building here that I'll show you, it's going to be a little bit bigger, but uh, this is just a good example right here of, of it. Nice. Yeah, so you get his boat and his truck, and they do some off-roading and motorcycles. Yeah, and it's fun to put your golf clubs and that good stuff as well. And yeah. Uh, yeah, very cool. Yeah, and this is all climate controlled. You have your own separate air conditioning in here. Uh, 50 amp plugs. You can put your bus in here if you want. Nice. And this has really worked out well. And people really enjoy it. Yeah, you can see the boat's inside. Yeah. And then the boat, we'll show everyone in a moment, but River Landings has its own private dock as well. Exactly. Yeah, we have our own. We got 11 boat slips down there. Nice. This is our second building coming on board here. This building's half sold out right now, so only a few units left in there. Um, and that we are hoping to have completed uh, by the end of the first quarter okay. of 2022. And, and so the, I really like the outside aesthetic look. Everything has that same kind of Hemingway Pilar style to it. Will the new, will all the new units have that same style? Be exactly the same. So that's a concrete stucco that we put on for durability. Um, all the doors are insulated doors and they're all going to be color matching. The other addition that we added is we're actually putting in a welcome center. So, um, you know, before you can get through our gates, you got to come into the welcome center and say hello and we'll greet you and that's underway right here which we hope to have it completed uh, towards the end of this year when you first pull into river landings you'll stop we'll greet you and get you all set up and then, you just pull your coach in right here out right. of the way yep exactly plenty of room here a lot of palm trees as well the landscaping that you guys do here too is just top notch thank you entry system here uh, along with that, we'll have uh, gate codes. Now this site, actually some of my friends had the opportunity to rent this last year, really enjoyed it. And mm -hmm. I stayed here last winter for a good part of the winter in my coach. And I remember this site was pretty much rented pretty much the entire year. Oh sure, this is booked uh, this whole season. And uh, if there is availability, you can check on our website or give us a call, but it's it stays pretty much booked all year long. Well, definitely makes sense to be able to be in the resort. And then if you have, you know, grandkids or friends that want to stay, you can have the coach here and this. Now, for someone that's thinking about, you know, owning a property like this, what kind of return are they looking at on their investment, putting it back into the rental pool? How does that all work? Sure. This, this is a good unit for that. If you're not going to be here a lot, this is a good unit uh, for an investment side of things. We have a short season. You know, so we go anywhere from, let's say, December through April. And then from there, you're not going to get a whole lot. But that time stays booked up. What kind of rental income and what does a site like this rent for? This particular unit right here, it's a little bit of a smaller unit. But this one will typically rent approximately $275 to $325, depending on exactly when you rent it and how long you rent it for. Okay, so about 300 a night, give or take a little bit. And of course, the market's always changing. So yeah, that makes sense. Well, let's now, is this site available for sale right now? It is, this site is available for sale. This is so nice to have a little coach house and kitchen. So this is available for sale. What's the story on this particular unit? Sure. This is our Pilar model, one of our smaller units. The gentleman that, that bought this uh, didn't know how much time he would spend here at River Landings, but he ended up really liking it. And a rarity happened where we had a riverfront spot become available. 
so he moved up to the riverfront. Okay. So in, as a result, we have this one on the market. So what is this one listed for sale for? Yeah, 525. Okay, 525 and then... It's the deal of the day. It won't last long. Yes, sir. I now, tell you that. Yeah, now renting it back, it stays pretty rented through that December through April. April. What? Um, how much does the park take as a management cost? And... Sure. Right now, uh, through the end of uh, this season, this uh, winter season, um, we're, we're doing a split with the owner where we're only taking 10% of those proceeds right now. Wow. So we're still in that promotion phase. Yeah. That will change. Yeah. Going into next year. But as we said here today, we take 10% of those sales and we oversee it. We make sure it's cleaned and we make sure everything is completed. Yeah, that's uh, by far the smallest fee I've ever heard of. Now, um, the cleaning fees and stuff, does that get passed along to the renter, I would it say? Does. Okay. Yeah. So kind of like an Airbnb. Yes, exactly. And they're pretty nominal. What's the HOA fees here right 12, now? 1233 a quarter. Okay. And so that includes your water, your sewer, your trash pickup, and basic maintenance. So anything above that, and you're responsible for, but it's very, I think, another 20, 25 bucks a month to have somebody prune everything to just the way you want it. Yeah, and that all depends on how you landscape your lot and all of that exactly. good stuff. Yeah, and then those, of course, that have pools, they have their own pool service. Yeah. And so, you know, I think that's running them around 45 to $55 a month for the pool service. And that's always changing, especially in today's market, but real estate, Florida real estate is hot. Have you guys been getting a lot of activity? We have more activity right now than we've we've seen, yes. Yeah. And uh, we're excited going into this year. And that's why we haven't released anything beyond phase two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we've got a demand going on right now that uh, we've got waiting lists of people wanting to come in and stay with us. So it's a it's a good thing we're excited for this year for sure you know and and as you know it, and a lot of people have seen this throughout time we're only improving each year we have something but i'm you know excited to say that we're on our last few improvements and then it's just down to coach houses enjoying yeah enjoying yeah. Right. exactly exactly well let's show them uh, around this uh casino or coach house here real yeah. quick this is sure. a a very large bedroom like you would see in a high-end home you know all of the finishes like the baseboards yep. the windows the it's all to the ceiling yes sir all very high-end and uh is that 525 furnished yes wow yeah furnished now, like i said this is the deal of the day here yeah this, this one won't last long no sir i love the flooring in here i get so excited about all the different textures but this bathroom is uh really high-end as well all that tile work and again very high ceilings and just like you would see in a multi-million dollar home even you know the door everything this is the deal of the day let's see what else you got going sure. on here one of the things to kind of keep in mind with this guy here too is you can always add an outdoor kitchen an outdoor pavilion and a pool and uh screened in area so it really lays out nicely yes sir now what do you think it would bring in for rent if you if you added an outdoor pool do you think that would add another hundred bucks a night or so in rent or? Yes. Um, some of our spots are getting uh, an extra, you know, $75 a night with a pool, screened in area, outdoor patio area. Absolutely. Okay. Well, let's yeah. go see if we can't find one of those spots that's a little nicer. Yeah. Really like the colors of this one that's under construction. What's the story on this particular site? Sure. Um, we started and the owners loved it and so we end up this is one of the first lots we sold in phase two um, and this is a custom unit here that they wanted their choice of tile and they've been building it from the ground up their spa here is yeah I like that let's give everybody a little yeah. closer look here and of course every site here at River Landings is waterfront and one of the things that I want to point out too is that you're not going to have anybody behind you or in front of you and these are much wider sites than you would see in most parks yeah, all of our sites are 60 feet wide okay so we didn't we want everybody to be able to spread out and the way that we have them set up andrew is is you have a coach a coach house a coach and a coach house so you always have you're never looking at another coach nice nice yeah and 
you know just all the little details that everybody is doing on these coach houses with what's this sure what's this wood That's called one of our signature series uh you know all of our coach houses has this cypress on it um, and we do that because of that Hemingway feel that we want you to, you know, when you look up at it and that dark teak appearance really is, is just sets the tone for everything. Um, yeah. This particular one here has the uh, same tile through in, throughout. And those same doors like we've showed in other videos where it's yep. totally open, brings the indoor and the outdoor kind of together. And exactly. Yeah, and this is an outdoor kitchen. That'll be started here soon, and we already vent for the smoke going out, and then this will be all screened in. Nice. Yes, and so this is a water feature up top. This is probably one of the most unique little spools that we've done. If you take a look at it, but it's got lots of jets in it, so you can get you know eight people in there pretty easily. Rick, I recently saw something in a Facebook group where people were really upset about a lot of construction going on in a high-end resort. What's your policy with construction and how do you guys deal with that? You know, we put a policy in place that no construction after the end of November. And so the idea is that when all of our residents are down, we don't have a lot of stuff going on outside. Internally, it doesn't bother me as much, but the outside bothers me a lot. So these two behind us here, we're hoping he's going to get moving and get those wrapped up by the end of November, at least the outside. And then that'll be it until uh, April 15th. Okay, so that'll keep down on construction during season. Exactly. And then it's go time and off season. And it's go time. Awesome. So if you were to buy a lot, we get into permitting with the idea starting April 15th or thereabouts. This one here, Andrew, is uh, one that we're building. Uh, so that it'll be it should be ready by about the end of the year so if anybody's interested in a brand new coach home and you still want to pick out your colors and things that would be it that's lot number 35. so it should be done by 2000 the end of 2021 yep and do you know about what price wise what this one is going to be this one furnished um appliances everything coach cover one of our signature series pavers throughout is 771 so this is uh this is the other spectrum probably. okay so now we just went up into the high rent district so this how yeah. much is this site right here this site right here is one million three hundred um it's one of the most unique sites we have here at river landings um, what makes it so unique, and I'll show you a little bit, is the fact that if you have children and grandchildren and you've got your coach and you like to get up early in the morning, you like that separation, we have two buildings on this particular lot. This building here is kitchen, front room, TV, uh, and everything opens up onto the pool on this side. And then this building over here is bedroom, bathroom, and a garage so that if you like i said if you got your grandchildren are down you want to get up and go watch tv and make your coffee inside this lays out perfectly for that the oversized lot is one of the bigger lots in river landings and the way this whole thing lays out around the pool i'm going to make another video all about this site so make sure to keep an eye out for that video coming soon so andrew I don't know if you remember this or not, but one of the coolest things we have here is our own private island and little marina um, that people really, really enjoy. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen this at any other motor coach resort. Definitely makes you guys at another level. Well, you know, being here on the river, this river goes across the whole state. You can go from the Gulf of Mexico to the Atlantic Ocean. And some of our owners that have a little bit bigger boats, they'll leave here and run down to Key West and over to the Bahamas and back. It takes them about three and a half weeks. Yeah. So that makes it really, really cool. We saw some really cool boats going uh, through here this morning. I mean, sometimes you'll see some really big hundred foot boats out here. You'll, oh yeah, you'll see barges, boats, um, big fishing catamarans. And um, so we put this boardwalk in and it was pretty extensive and it was quite the undertaking and uh, it's all lit up at night we did all low voltage lighting so you don't have the bugs up when you walk out here yeah and then one of the things that we've done also is 
we actually have a mosquito control system that really? goes on three times a day. Really? So yeah. how does that work? Yeah, I'll show you out here. But uh, we have mist systems all along each side of this and all the way out to the island. And out here on the island, uh, we do yoga. Yeah. Uh, we have furniture that'll be out here. Of course, we're just getting ready to get things opened up. And a lot of people come out here and read a book and enjoy. Absolutely. Sometimes some nice little waves will come through after a big boat. And uh, so those are the boat slips that you guys have available now. How does that work? Is it first come, first serve? Does it go with the waterfront sites? How do those boat sure. slips work? So there's 11 boat slips in there and they're on a first come, first serve. The owners on the riverfront have priority and then we have about six that float. Okay, cool. So, um, and, and so those are on a first come basis. They You'll notice here on the side with the spray nozzles. So when did you guys install the mosquito mitigation system? We we started doing it throughout the site about oh probably a year and a half ago, and and we did it because so that people could really be out and enjoy you know the outdoors. So most of the coach houses have them, and it, it's a, like an organic material, and so our spray and uh, goes off three times a day, 30 second increments. Nice. So standing out here on the islands, you can see these coach houses and the RV sites with the coach covers. Um, do these ever come available? Very seldom. Very seldom do they come available, and they do. Like I said, we only have one available now, lot number seven. So. And how much is that one listed for? One three. One point three. 1.3. I think we're going to have to show that one of the folks on YouTube. Yeah, that one is one of our nicer units out there for sure. And you know, one of the things we did here too, Andrew, was in our construction with this all the stainless steel and the cable so there wouldn't be a whole lot of maintenance to it Yeah. as time goes on. So yeah, it really lays out nice. Rick, always awesome to see how you just continue to improve in the motor coach world. Now, we're gonna make another video showing everybody the $1.3 million RV site, but if someone's a serious buyer and they either wanna purchase the Pilar for 525 all the way up to the $1.3 million riverfront site, who should they get a hold of? Sure, just have them reach the office at 863-612-0104 and ask for me and uh, we'll be able to help them in any direction they wanna go. And you guys do have sites available for rent this season as well? Limited, but yes, but need to call early. Um, we're filling up pretty quickly. Do you have rates set for this season for RV sites that don't have a coach house? <laughs> Absolutely. So if you go onto our website and go to vacation rentals, you can go in there, select your dates. It'll tell you what lots are available with the rate on there. It's really easy. You get a picture of the lot and it's very user friendly because rates are depending on how long you stay, how long you want to be here. So. Yeah, no, you guys are a great website. Everything yeah. you guys do here is top shelf, so can't yeah. thank you enough. Yeah. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you for coming by and thank you everyone for tuning in. Appreciate it.